to my home or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kelly Ann and my original plan for today's video was going to be being outside, doing everything in the backyard, but it is rainy today so that sort of put a damper on my plans. So the first half of this video is going to be doing some deep cleaning and then the second half which I'm going to have to film later in the week will be outside getting all my planning done and doing a little makeover outside so that's what's going to be in today's video. We're going to go ahead and get started doing some deep cleaning. I need to go ahead and clean our kitchen cabinets again. I need to clean under some furniture as well as clean the windows since it's not too sunny today so it won't mess up the filming so let's go ahead and get started the first area that we're going to tackle is under this little cabinet thing it's on wheels so i'll be able to roll it out of the way some of bill's work stuff is right here so i'll have to take that upstairs but if you can see under it there are lots of spider webs and lots of stuff under there so this is the first area that we're going to clean today I have not moved this chest out of the way in forever, so there is so much stuff on it and so many dead roly polies. We have so many roly polies around here by my house, it's insane. Check out all of those dead roly polies. This is our roly poly graveyard. We have so many roly polies by our house. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this mirror really well while that chest is raw out of the way because I do have trouble getting all the way to the top when I'm reaching over the chest. So now it is nice and clean and I just use my Sprayway glass cleaner to clean that mirror. I think that's what works best and I highly recommend that cleaner. I like it in the lavender scent. I'm not the biggest fan of the original scent. It reminds me of a restaurant I used to work at in high school, but I'm also gonna go ahead and just wipe off this Count console. I don't know what I should call this thing. It's like an entertain entertainment buffet. It's like the top parts will fold out and then you can put food and stuff on it, but we use it as an entry table. But now we are also wiping down our microwave with our spray ray cleaner because it had so many fingerprints and food on it. It was disgusting. As you can see, our stove top has some major cooked on residue. So we'll see how well that cooktop cleaner cleans it off. It's the same brand that makes these little scrubbers. So I don't know, we'll see what it can do. Whenever I clean our cooktop, I make sure to get all the product off. So I also sprayed it with some Mrs. Meyer spray, and then I'm also going to polish it with some of the Sprayway cleaner. But I found that if I don't get all the product off, then whenever I cook on it next, it smells horrible. So I am just making sure that I get every last bit of that cleanser up. Taste my breath and love me like you love that worked so well. I am so surprised. This is another look at what I used. I had been using Barkeeper Spring on here and it wasn't getting up all the baked up stuff, but look at this burner now. There was so much stuff on it. Now, nothing. I did miss a spot right here though. It didn't get that up because I also didn't sit there and scrub it like I did the other spots. 
but that's what I'm going to start using from now on to clean this cooktop because I thought that the barkeeper's firm was doing a good job, but apparently it was not. I'm going to go ahead and deep clean our sink. I haven't cleaned like this little ridge in a while, so I have my Rubbermaid brush and then to clean the rest of it, I have this brush that I got from the Dollar Tree and it works pretty well. And then for my cleanser, I'm using the Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool I always forget that I have this Rubbermaid brush. I think it's the second time I've ever used it in a video and I've had it for probably nine months now, but it does get those tough to clean spots like my regular brush can't get in that like cranny between the granite and the sink. And it was also good for cleaning our faucet. Don't forget to clean that little spout thing because gunk builds up on there and that's nasty, especially if you use your faucet for drinking water as well. That's just one of those spots that you forget to clean and then you end up looking at it and you are just absolutely disgusted. Our fridge was covered in fingerprints from Drew, so I'm going to go ahead and clean that off with the Sprayway cleaner as well. They do make a Sprayway stainless steel cleaner, but honestly, I think it's basically the same as the window cleaner, so I don't bother purchasing it. I just go ahead and get the regular Sprayway cleaner. ahead and dust my blinds. I'm just using one of the little Swiffer dusters and then I'm also going to go ahead and clean them as well. Well, clean the windows. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. Words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you mm -hmm. You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right I don't know if the Swiffer duster is the best thing to be using to clean my blinds, but I find that it works. I also have one of those little gadgets that has like the prong type things that you clean each individual blind, but I just think that would be way too time consuming. Maybe one day if I have a ton of time on my hands, I can clean my blinds like that. But for now, I just close them and then I do the Swiffer and then I like reverse close them and Swiffer again. So I make sure to get both sides and then once again, I'm just using my sprayway cleaner to wipe the windows down as well you've been in bed for days empty without me you say can't you just magically turn up in mind then you knock on my door on the second floor and i feel okay you just made it through and i love the way i feel for you mm, baby you make me look The next time I'm at Lowe's, I want to pick up one of those outdoor window cleaners that you attach to your hose and you just spray. 
but right now it's like my brain stopped working and I was like, oh my gosh, the blinds are broken. Like how am I going to be able to clean the windows? But the reason that the blinds wouldn't fold up is because they weren't open. So once I open them, of course, they're going to end up going back up. But then I was like, I don't think I dusted the other side. So I just had a complete brain fart in that moment. I was like, Drew must have ruined these blinds. Like I'm going to have to look up this blind company, see if I can go ahead and order an extra, but nope, it was user error. It was just me being me. It still feels right. We never get it right, but somehow it feels right. That's how I feel about ya. So I have never cleaned down here. Look how much dust is down there. And then there's also a little dead moth. I'm gonna grab that. But, oh my goodness, <laughs> wow. So check out how much dust I've gotten up. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash this one and get a new one. But that is a lot of dust. I'm considering getting rid of this fake tree that's in the corner here. It is pretty bulky. I think there needs to be something in that corner or else that side of the room is gonna look naked. But I'm sort of getting tired of the tree, especially since Drew keeps on trying to play with it. It's just becoming a hassle. <laughs> But I was a little bit scared to stand on this table because I didn't know if it would hold my weight or not and I didn't want to break it so I was trying to be super careful. I know I make my mom nervous whenever I stand on top of things like my countertops and whatnot but luckily nothing happened this day and I was safe and sound. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down our kitchen cabinets. Sometimes I use a spray and rag, but I found it quicker just to fill up a bowl with some warm water and use some Dawn Power Wash, and then just stick your rag in there, clean off the cabinet, and then dry it off. I think that's much quicker than having to sit there and spray it. This is something that I should probably be doing once a month because my cabinets get so dirty between me cooking and Drew running around with dirty hands. So many handprints. And then the other day I spilt some batter down the front of this cabinet. So that's why I was taking some extra time scrubbing that one. But my bowl, I actually filled it up with hot water. So I use hot water and down power wash to clean my cabinets. And I feel like it works like a charm. Gets everything off of there. And then I'm just using a microfiber cloth to dry it. And I'm also using a microfiber cloth to clean it as well.
snap. We are about to go to the grocery store. Yes. We're about to go to the grocery store. I only need a few things for dinner tonight. I'm planning on making spaghetti with ground chicken. I've never had chicken in it before, but chicken is zero calories on Weight Watchers. So we're gonna try that out. There are other, a few other things that I need to get as well, but it should not be a long trip. Typically, if I was going grocery shopping, I'd drop him off at his little play center, but I figured I only needed a few things and it's raining and I don't wanna go to that side of town, so it should be quick. We just got home from the grocery store. I got stuff for dinner tonight. I got our ground chicken. I got some pot-sized spaghetti, and then I got a squash and a zucchini for our sauce. Drew, really bud. Yeah, eat all those, okay? Okay. Okay. And then I got some grapes. I got red grapes and green grapes. And I'm gonna freeze them and put some zero sugar jello powder on it. It is so good. Got some more bananas, some pineapple, some of these cookies for Drew. And then some celery and onion. I think I'm gonna make tuna salad again soon. And then tonight I figured I'm not gonna use all of our sauce. So I got these turkey pepperonis so I can make little pizzas on English muffin for like lunch tomorrow or dinner. Got some more chicken. I got some cheese for those little mini pizzas I'm gonna be making. Needed more eggs, more sugar-free jello. I got the sugar substitute because I wanna make banana bread soon. Got more Cheetos, I got him a pizza, more coffee, more creamer, more Minute Maid Zero Sugar drinks for me. And then I also got more paper towels and more Coke. So I'm about to start cooking dinner. The first thing I'm gonna do is just prep my veggies for my spaghetti sauce. I'm gonna do some onion and then a squash and a zucchini. So this recipe turned out so good. It actually made me decide to want to plant squash and zucchini now. I originally wasn't gonna plant it in my garden, but I think this is gonna become a staple recipe for me. I had it for lunch and dinner the next day as well, and it was so good, even better the next day. And I actually ended up eating it without the pasta the next day because I was trying to save on some points. But this recipe turned out so good, and it is so easy, and I love that it incorporates some fresh vegetables. I went ahead and sprayed my pan with some canola spray and now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my chicken started and I'm just mashing it up with my little meat masher thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some Italian seasoning as well, <laughs> here we go, as well as some garlic powder to our chicken. My pasta is on the stove now, my chicken's almost done, so now I'm going to go ahead and cook my vegetables. So tonight I'm using the Rao's Ray's, don't know how to say it, um, marinara, and I've never used this brand before just because it's so expensive. It's like, what, seven bucks per jar? So hopefully this lives up to the hype. Everyone says it's so good, so we'll see. Y'all just saw me add in some salt, pepper, as well as some minced garlic, and I let that saute for a little bit before I added in my chicken. And then I'm gonna add in my sauce, and let me tell you, this sauce lives up to the hype. 
I don't know if I can ever go back to the cheap stuff. It is so good. I've also been using the sauce to make little miniature pizzas on English muffins, but I'm so impressed. Well, I think it looks good. Let's give it a try. It turned out really good. I don't mind the chicken at all. I usually do Italian sausage, but I think the chicken, sorry, I had to move my pan. The chicken works just as well with it. And I love the zucchini and squash in it too. I think it turned out really yummy and I'm getting my pasta fix in and it's still healthy. So it is now Friday. It is sunny as you can see and it's like 55 right now. I wish it was a little bit warmer because today we're going to be doing some stuff outside. Right now Drew and I are loaded up. We are going to go to Tractor Supply and I'm going to see what they have. It's just pretty close to our house and I don't feel like going across town to Lowe's right now. So I'm hoping I can get some more soil from there. We're going to see if they have some plants. So we can go ahead and plant more things in the backyard because that is my plan. I've been wanting to do this for like two weeks now, but just weather has not allowed it. It's been raining all week here, so I'm so happy that finally it's sunny outside. But let's go ahead and head to Tractor Supply. I almost said Trader Joe's, but no. Tractor Supply. And I'm hoping that maybe they'll have some chicks for Drew to look at, but we'll see if they do. True. You see those chickens? So we just got back from Tractor Supply. I will show y'all what we picked up. I really didn't get a lot. I did get two bags of potting soil and then I picked up a sweet orange bell pepper. This one obviously is already growing really well. That's why I got this one. And I also got another strawberry plant and this one already has a couple runners. So strawberry plants, what I know of them, they shoot out these runner things and then these become plants as well. That's why I got this one. So now I have two strawberry plants. Then I also picked up some garden beans that I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these started in a little starter pot today. And then they also have candy there. So I picked up some high chews for Bill because these are his favorite. And then since I am trying to stay away from the artificial sweeteners a little bit now, um, I got these Wiley Wallaby Sour Rages drops and I'm just planning on having a couple at a time to satisfy my sweet tooth but it is so windy outside today i think i'm gonna do the planting that i can inside my peony or peony whatever bush that i got when it was a little baby is now big and i need to repot that which i think i need to do it outside so that will be done outside and let's go ahead and do that I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love, what is love? strawberry plants. Huh? I have some pots I got from Dollar Tree which I'll go get. I have these pots. I don't know how many gallons these pots are. It doesn't say 
But I just looked online and I really wanna plant my strawberries together and it said you can do that in a five gallon pot. And I ordered some cloth five gallon pots off of Amazon. So I'm about to see how big these actually are and which ones I can use. definitely appears that this is bigger than the ones I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant both of my strawberry plants in here. kinds of strawberry plants this one is an ever sweet and then the other one i think is just a normal strawberry plant all it says on the tag is strawberry so we'll see it's like this strawberry plant grows low to the ground and then my other one is tall so I'm curious to see how these are gonna end up growing together in the same pot this might be a mistake I'm not sure hopefully these will be happy together in here I'm gonna go ahead and put this back outside now I'm going to go ahead and plant my pepper plant and I'm going to do it in a pot and I went ahead and looked it up online and it said it doesn't need support so that's why I'm going to do it in the pot otherwise I would wait and put it in my garden bed so I could do like a little support thing around it but let's go ahead and get it in this pot and I'm going to poke out these holes in the bottom of it before I fill it up with dirt. And it just cracked the whole thing, so I will be throwing this one away. This time, I will try it with a screwdriver. It did it again. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and see what happens. At least now it has drainage, we know that. When you're buying a $1.25 pot though, what can you expect? Now there is that crack in the bottom, but hopefully that will be adequate enough drainage for this plant. of my potting soil so I'm gonna have to get a lot more of that now we're switching gears and we are gonna go back to planting starters still have plenty of starter soil but today I figure we can plant the garden beans the kitchen king green beans and then these bush sugar baby watermelon I'm gonna go ahead and try and get that started and then also where is the yellow watermelon here we go the early moonbeam watermelon so I'm gonna go ahead and plant three of those I think 
I might start all of those in these bigger pots since they do turn out to be bigger pan pants, plants. Ooh. I also went ahead and put my lemon tree outside. I think it'll be fine outside for 10 days, then it's supposed to get cold again or something. I was looking on our area of gardeners page and people were talking about when they typically go ahead and set out their plants. And they were saying that they do it around Mother's Day. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my lemon tree because it has lemons coming up already, like little buds. And the last thing I wanna do is kill it. <laughs> upstairs to our shower which is where the other starters are and I'm gonna also give y'all an update on those starters up there. Four of the six are doing really well and then we had two duds. And look at here. Here is our aroma. I got four going in there. I'm gonna have to eventually thin those and then our Cherokee purples as well are doing really well. See? That's Aroma. This is a Cherokee purple. So I'm going to have to thin those soon. But our cucumbers never grew for some reason. So I think this year I'm not going to have cucumbers. They take up a ton of space anyways. And I'd rather do zucchini and squash. But now I'm just going to go ahead and put our new starters up here as well. So there we go, and now they're up there. I went ahead and took the cucumbers down. Hopefully they grow. If they don't, it's okay. I'll just plant them outside in May and hope for the best. So the last thing that I'm doing today is I'm about to go drop Drew off at his play center. And then I'm gonna run to a store called Hamrick. They sell a little bit of everything. It's geared towards old people. So I'm always like the youngest person in there. But when I was in there on Monday, they had outdoor pillows, two for 10. So that's the best deal I've seen on outdoor pillows. So I want to get two for our chairs out back. So I'm going to see if I find some cute ones. I also need to get a wedding present for a wedding I'm going to tomorrow. And then I also need to stop by Walmart for a couple of things, but then that will be it. So I found some pillows from Hamrick's and I just noticed that these have slip covers. So I'm super excited about that. These are really nice pillows. They're thick and plush. It was two for 10 bucks, so not bad. They're normally $12.98. Also wanted to show y'all what I got from Walmart. It's a saute teriyaki veggies and sauce. 
I thought this looked good for the whole bag. It's 210 calories, so that's not bad. I haven't plugged into Weight Watchers yet. I might make this for dinner or save it for tomorrow night. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.